Welcome back to Sunrise. Wouldn't you like to create another source of income for yourself? Ever heard of herbal toothpaste? Want to become an entrepreneur by learning how to make your own toothpaste? This is a segment for you. Mm -hmm. Today in studio, we have Miss Tisa Harris Kidd. She's the program director at UTech. We have our lecturer. <laughs> Please pronounce your name so I hear it right for once. Modupeola Abayomi. Modupeola. Abayomi. Abayomi. You can just call you Abayomi. Yes. Just call you Abayomi. Yeah, right. I'll get Dr. used to it. Abayomi. And we also have Ajay Houghton. Ajay is a student at UTEC. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, Ajay. Thank you, Thank for, you for having us. us. And, and welcome to Sunrise Chemistry Lab. Yes, <laughs> yes. indeed. All right, who's going to take the lead to explain what's happening in front of us? Are we doing the demonstration first, first or we can go ahead and we'll do it simultaneously? Okay, great. Right. So today the, we have the Bachelor of Pharmaceutical Technology student, Ajay, yes, and yeah. Mrs. Abiyomi. They will be doing the demonstration. Right. They enjoy the lab. <laughs> and uh, as their overseer somewhat, yes. I'll guide you through the process. All right, right, let's go. So Ajay, you're like obviously one of the top students in your year. Mm -hmm. Well, you can say that. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, so take us through it. And by the way, viewers, we have a budding herbal chemist, <laughs> Angelique Virtue, who will also be helping. So while Tisha and I speak, they will be working it up in the yes. lab. Yes, 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 yes. Right. I wanted okay. to ask Ajay though, did you always want it to go into pharm pharmacology? Pharmaceutical oh, technology. Beg your pardon. Yeah. Did you always <laughs> yes. want to do this? Uh, yes, it has been a dream of mine from high school. I would say, you know, one day I want to make medicines. I like wow. to have my own medicines out there, knowing that I can treat people and help to cure diseases. Right. So it's always been a dream of mine. At one point, I never knew how I'd get it done. But then God came through and you he showed me this course. The course. And then I said, yes. This is the way to go, and here I am today, a third year student. Excellent. Congratulations. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> and Doc, how in terms of the receptiveness of students, this kind of, of um, program, what, mm -hmm. would your, what would your opinion be as to how they've been responding? Right, students are very anxious about when it comes to mixing up chemicals and getting a product, they are just right there. And this right. is one of the experiments that we have been doing because they know about how the green chemistry is going. They don't, want to, go, ah, they yeah. don't want to be using what is there as a chemical that have a much toxic effect. So yeah. we are using our herbal products, just the plants behind the schoolyard. We take them, we dry them, and this is what Ajay is going to be presenting to you today right. and why she is going to be Yes. Training our new student to be. And I want to commend UTEC for an excellent tradition in utilizing our local plants, our local flora in their research, and certainly in the creation of new, new areas of um, study. Yeah. Um, you have and led for many years, absolutely. And this morning, I'm excited to make a toothpaste. Yes. Right. Tisa, now talk to us about the program. Well, uh, the Bachelor in Pharmaceutical Technology started in 2014. Mm -hmm. We had our first graduating cohort in November. Yeah. We had 10 Four students, years. and I really yeah. must say those yeah. 10 students were the, the bravest day, ever. They knew it was a new program. They so were our babies. Yes. And they saw us through the launch, the That's conception, right. the launch, and the evolution of the program. I must say, when we conducted a graduate survey, all 10 students have been employed. Already? Yes. They graduated when? November. November of yes. 2018. Yes. And 100% of them, yes. all 10, all have 10. already been Be employed. 10 sounds a little small, mm -hmm. but in the context of things, when you look at the manufacturing companies in Jamaica, yeah. we have five registered or regulated by the Pharmacy Council of Jamaica. Right. But then we have the budding biotech um, industry. We have the cannabis industry, which is booming now. Yeah, and so Ajay is yeah. one of the scholarship recipients from Timeless Herbal Care. Okay. So we do have companies in the private sector who have come on board and those are the places our students do their externship and their internship. But I'd like to say though that 10 isn't small at all because at the level of training and the size of the Jamaican market, yeah. I'm happy that all 10 are employed yeah. locally because this quality training makes them very exportable. Correct. And to add a twist to it, we do recognize that Jamaica doesn't have a lot of manufacturing companies right. so our students do four levels of spanish or oh, we have a lovely spanish um instructor we collaborate with other faculties on campus wait a second 
You mean these science students? They are bilingual, correct. Wow. So they have four levels of training from basic. So if you didn't come in okay. with um, Spanish, knowledge no knowledge of Spanish, you have basic Spanish. Yeah. Then you move from basic Spanish to like level one, two, three, and four. And these are interpretation of okay. literature. So, so sometimes you, you get the medicinal product when you open the monograph that product yes, that's label actually is tricky you know because it's difficult to read english speakers yes. learning yes. science and scientific jargon yes. it can be difficult yes. because you have to go to the latin stem and stuff like that correct. so they are conversant in their field in the in field Spanish. yes wow. that's correct yeah and uh, the students do very well with that and they enjoy it because it's a lot of oral presentation i don't think they have written exams yes. so the fear of passing a big Spanish exam, it's not there. All right. um, yes, just, just a sec, Tisha. Doc, if you could just, um, I noticed that our chemists mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. their dust masks on, their face masks. Explain. So, uh, Doc, could you it's take us through one. what Ajay and Angelique uh, Incorporated are now doing? Okay, uh, based on what they are doing, they're about to start the making of the uh, the uh, toothpaste yes and what they are doing now they are mixing the powders because we have four powders there we have uh, acacia and, and there is we okay. have sodium lorisulfate we have uh, sodium saccharine and then we have calcium carbonate right. so what they are doing now they are mixing the powder according to the quantity we always call it geometric dilution that is yeah, you start right. from the smallest yes. and you take equal amount of each you mix because we want the powder to be equally mixed together right so the process they are doing is basically mixing the powder using the term that we use at school geometric dilution which right, is now, double up and the, when the when the product is finished is this going to be a colloidal paste as the market is accustomed to or will it be a powder it's a paste, paste. It's, it's, a, a paste. it's a paste okay. so i'm hearing colloidal raymond yes. have you done pharmaceutical <laughs> chemistry or science um okay. just I'd like to say a special good morning to Dr. Jackson and the so, chemistry uh, department of the University of West Indies, ah. Mona. No, I didn't go that yes. far. Um, I went into Republic the Republic. life sciences department mm -hmm. and did marine biology and ecology. So, so you're correct. Some of yes. it is retained. When we, when we discuss paste and gels, we normally term colloidal, which mean yeah. very fine powders. Right. So what you're seeing is a safety. Our students are trained in sterile manufacturing and good manufacturing practices. So if you're adding uh -huh. powders which can aerate into the environment, right. especially like sodium lauryl sulfate, yeah. irritating a little bit to the nose and eyes. Cause that is they have to. So viewers, yes. that's why my eyes are runny <laughs> this morning. <laughs> thank you, Tisa. Thank you so much for explaining that to the viewers. <laughs> so safety is really important. Another thing too in the manufacturing industry, yeah. men have to wear like beard covers no. and head cap, right? So yeah. if you notice, Ajay, even the face mask, they have a full covering. Yes. It's very important to not have any shedding at all into the product. And so when the students carbon. are dressed up for like sterile manufacturing, they're covered from head to the toes. Literally. And when they go to the manufacturing facility, they have to adopt those principles so as well. Can again. you do a favor for us, Tisa? Explain the difference between a pharmacist, a pharmacologist, and a uh, pharmaceutical scientist. And a pharmaceutical scientist, please. Okay. <laughs> so in the back then days, you'd have like your chemist, your alchemist, your yes. apothecary. You have different names ascribed to physicians and pharmacists. Yes. But with the evolution of science and technology, you have different hybrids. The pharmacologists work mm. with the body and how the disease unfolds to know what it what happens at the cell level. So right. what goes wrong, what malfunctions, and then know when we identify treatment, the pharmacologists help us to identify okay. a dose. Yes. That is when you when you take 500 milligram of paracetamol for a headache, yeah. the pharmacologist would have done animal studies using yeah, different models to make sure the dose is correct. Right. The pharmaceutical scientist now would have a finished raw material, your powder, and they would have a concept of a formulation. So what you're seeing here are the formulation ingredients. Right. The pharmaceutical scientist is now so trained in chemistry and disease therapy to put a product together at the right concentration established by the, like, the pharmacologist that is a vehicle now to the patient, the end user. So that they know exactly at the cellular level which component which, of which yes. 
and usually plant Correct. extract. So yes. I notice you're stressing chemistry a lot, but Correct. you have not mentioned mm -hmm. botany. Well, you do. And you yeah. will see when I tell you the courses that our students yeah. are exposed to. All right, now, the how pharmacist, do people get to, uh, finish let the me finish. First. So yeah. the pharmacist now is at the end of that um, pendulum. Yes. Right? So you have the pharmacologist mm -hmm. in the early mm -hmm. stages of research, the pharmaceutical Pharmacy technologist yes. to the middle of that development, mm -hmm. and then the pharmacist is like the end user with the patient. Yes. So it's finished, a finished product like the toothpaste would have been there, it would have been in the pharmacy, and the pharmacist part. would know this contains neem, this Ginger contains well. this drug, and so this can be used for gingivitis. So when a patient walks in, yeah. they can recommend that product. Right. So, so it, it, there's a connection with all the skill set that um, the, the scientists will need. I, I like the, the metaphor of the pendulum, <laughs> yes. because it <laughs> does bring it into full Correct. Correct. And and How do students, yes. because I want us to go back to the fact that 100% of the graduates have been absorbed in the Yes, economy. they have been. How do students... Uh, what's the qualification that's required for students to matriculate in these programs? It's similar to the Bachelor of Pharmacy. Okay. So they, we require five CXE subjects, which <laughs> fundamental is chemistry, biology, yeah. English, math, right. and one other. We prefer physics, but if not, we do have basic physics. You tech, let me just say, you tech have an academy that if you don't have certain subjects in the early stages, you can upgrade. You do it as a prerequisite somewhat along with along your first way. year. Yes. One and two, like physics. Doc, quickly, because we <laughs> We are going to be out of there. How is, we know Ajay is an A student and an A <laughs> student a at that. But how is Angelique doing? Angelique, she's doing she's well. Doing because very, being very the first good. time. Yeah. As, as a first time off. As a yes. first time, yeah. she's, she's doing, if you compare to Ajay, she's still at the same level. Yeah. Ajay, Ajay has not passed her at all. <laughs> so, and, yes. we can just. And if, I'm, if, to if I'm grading her now, she doesn't have on her protective eye gears. Because it was fogging up. It was fogging oh, up. Oh, I got yeah, it. Yeah, it was fogging <laughs> up. <laughs> it was fogging up. So we have to assess them in the lab, you yes. know, and make sure they are properly um, on point. So, so this is where, you know, the glamour pharmacists need, the, the, the glamour pharmaceutical technologies. technologies need to understand that glamour is after she steps out okay. the lab. Yes, right. Right. correct. Right in the lab. Correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, now what would the finished product look like? like here we have the mm, finished again. toothpaste yes um, really a nice firm paste right. another thing too is when we're finished making the product a J is trained to test it the thickness the smell is it becoming powder. watery after some days so they do stability testing mm -hmm. and then on this now you'll have an expiry date so when you take up a tube of toothpaste you check that label is a pharmaceutical scientist that conducts studies to see how long this can sit on the shelf or in your house and still be safe and still be safe you know I'm happy that you've mentioned that because there is unfortunately doc uh, a myth, sort of a, a modern cultural myth, that herbal medicines and herbal remedies are not no, up to scratch in it. terms of okay. scientific dispension. Please, what's the level of change in that opinion? Right. That was the old, old in this myth, right? But right now, everybody yes. is trying to go green, as I said. So basically, when we uh, formulate any herbal product, it has to go through the same process that our synthetic process are going through. Absolutely. We have the physical test that is have to check for the stabilizers, what uh, Mrs. Case just mentioned, that we have also the chemical test to ensure that when we say it can do certain uh, Qualifies certain degree, it can do what it, it can do right. as stated. Uh, Correct. Thank you very much, ladies. Thanks to the UTEC uh, for this morning's demonstration. Um, Angelique is still up there, and we will <laughs> show you the finished product later in the program.